everyone. Welcome to the start of my day. My name is Julia and I'm a violin performance major at the University of South Carolina and also a business administration minor. So in this practice session, I'm mainly focusing on a piece that I'm going to play in master class today, which is the Bach G minor fugue for violin. And I will also be working on some orchestra music. We've got some music by Samuel Jones, by Hindemith, and you'll get to see what it's like to be a violin performance major, be a performance major in general at a university. I hope you enjoy. Okay, I think that's enough for that piece. I have to move on to the other one. Now, the difficult thing about this piece that I'm performing today is that it has tons of double stops. It's and, and chords, and it's really difficult in that way. And it's also long, it requires a lot of stamina, and it's just the most intense Bach movement I've ever played. And as a fugue, it has lots of different subjects and lots of melodic lines that overlap each other. And that's hard to do in a violin. I've been getting it into shape within the past few weeks so that I can perform it, record it, do everything I need to do with it. I'm really hoping that I can do well today. So let's just run through it, see what happens. If there's things I need to work on, then I'll take some time to work on them before class. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done practicing for the morning. This piece, I worked hard on it. I worked a lot on it. So I just have to have faith in myself that I've put in the work and now it's just about demonstrating that work. So first I have to go put my violin in my locker and then I have to go to class. But we're going to Music Theory 4. So what we're studying in Music Theory right now is chromatic modulation. So modulation with academic chords, with seventh chords, all sorts of things. And it's really wacky stuff, but it's kind of fun too. Hey guys, so I just got out of theory and now I'm back in the practice room again. All you've seen of me is in the practice room, but I finished theory and now I have studio class and it's online, but I am playing today and there's like a room that I play in that has like good mics and stuff. So I'm going to do part of studio class from this practice room and then do the other part in that room when I actually play because I'm playing a little bit later. I'm very scared, but excited, but we'll see how it goes.
music will actually get you to, um, I find it, to be more aware of everything that you're doing. Um, slowing things down while doing it for memory helps us remember it better because we're actually really processing everything that's happening as opposed to looking at the notes on the page. I think it's, a, it's an awareness while you're performing. Trying to recreate the idea of performing when you're doing it. When we turn that metronome off, we have to remain, that awareness of pulse has to remain. Okay, thank you. Great, but great work. <laughs> So I just finished orchestra. Now I'm going to go get some food because I do not eat lunch and I'm starving. Okay, so as you can see, I got tropical smoothie. Very excited. And I actually got some really exciting news. So I applied for this internship to the Boulanger Initiative, which is an organization that focuses on promoting women composers that have been underrepresented throughout history and also current contemporary women composers. And I applied for an internship and I just got the email that I got the internship and I'm so excited. This internship is for this spring. So I start next week. I, I, I can't, hold on. I can't even get my food yet. I'm so excited. I have to like sit down and collect myself. Ah, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. So let me tell you a little bit about the internship. It's a really cool organization. I admire their work so much. As some of you may know, I am pursuing eventually two degrees in violin performance and business marketing. I'll be double majoring starting next year. And this is a marketing internship for a classical music organization. So like it's the perfect mesh of what I want to do. I love marketing, I love music, and I love like social justice and advocacy and like promoting people who have been underrepresented. Okay, I'm gonna start drinking my smoothie now. For anybody wondering, this is the Kiwi Quencher from Tropical Smoothie. And I previously had never had Tropical Smoothie, but I tried this the other day and it tastes amazing. All right, I'll check back in when I get my food and I'll show you what the best food on campus looks like. I'm just going to get to chow down. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm back at the dorm, and as you can tell, I bike around campus. I brought my bike to school, and it helps me get places a lot quicker because campus is huge. I really like bike riding around campus. It's really pretty, and I also get places faster. Like, I can leave five minutes before class instead of 20. So it's a really great way of getting around, in my opinion. Here's my bike. I have two bike bags in the back, so I can carry, like, literally anything. And yeah, it gets me everywhere. I love it. I'm going back to the room because I really need a break for today. And I also have a meeting at six. I think I'm just gonna practice late tonight, which sometimes happens, and go to the session. But I'm gonna chill out until then, relax a little bit, and then get right back into the grind. hanging out in my room for a while i'm going to go do some practicing and it's a little late but i still gotta get those hours in
towel my hair looks really crazy and it's like the end of the day and i just finished my last bit of practicing it is almost 11 p.m it's very late i don't like to practice too late but sometimes i have to if the rest of my day is busy because i have to get in those hours but i practiced for about three hours today it's sort of in the middle like that's about my average practice time but my goal is to do four hours every day i need to work more on that but today mondays are my busiest days of the week so i'm glad that i at least got this much in today but yeah i'm gonna go bike back to the dorm i'm gonna call it for the day because i'm tired and i have an 8 30 a.m class tomorrow Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, you can go watch my interview where my roommate Ellis asks me a few questions about being a student at USC and pursuing two majors. So go check that out if you haven't already. Also, let us know if you have any feedback. If you have any questions, just type everything down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.